So hi everyone, welcome to One Academy. I'm Dr. Saurabh Dikshit, and I'm going to tell you something important about the instruments. So I have today selected three, four instruments for you, and these instruments are going to be very important. And I started this series. So I will be continuing with the this series where I'll be continuously bringing you some instruments. So the first instrument that I'm going to show you is a Vires needle. Now you must have heard of this Vires needle, you must have seen. So what is the concept of Vires needle? It's a very simple instrument. This is what is the instrument that you can see. This is a Vires needle. Now Vires needle has a spring-like action. Can you see that spring-like action? This has a spring-like action and you can see this, listen to this tit sound. So if I just lock this Vires, can you see this is sharp? This is very sharp. Can you see this is very sharp? But if I release this spring and now the bevel end is up. So what is the significance of this when you are entering the abdomen, when you are entering the abdomen, whenever there is resistance, the beveled end goes up. So due to resistance, can you see the beveled end will go up and the sharp needle will come. And when a, the, there will be loss of resistance, the beveled end again comes out. So what is the significance when you are creating the pneumoperitoneum, the first entry is always a blind entry and that is the time when you can actually puncture the viscera. So it's very important how you hold this varies. Holding of varies is also important. It is always held like a dart. So you don't hold the varies like this. There are a lot of people who don't know the actual holding. It is held like a dart pointed towards the anus at a 30 degree angle. So let me tell you something important that when you want to create a pneumoperitoneum, what is the significance of using a varus needle? Now, varus is always pointed towards the anus. Why? Because it's a long slender needle and it can very easily enter inside the viscera. But the point is that since it's having a blunted beveled end which comes out as a guard, the chance of injury is less. The second advantage, so the advantage number one is less injury, less injury less than 0.6% injury is seen with varies. The second big advantage is slow and gradual creation of pneumoperitoneum. So gradual creation of pneumoperitoneum is the biggest advantage of this. Why? Because if you suddenly stress the abdominal wall, there will be a vasovagal stimulation, a vagal stimulation which will cause a sinus bradycardia and sinus bradycardia is a very lethal form of arrhythmia which is going to happen during laparoscopy and this is actually life threatening also. So once you have gone inside with the varies, the next is you will insufflate and remember what is the rate of insufflation, this is very important, the rate of insufflation for varies. This is very important. This is 1 to 2 liters per minute. So you can understand since it's a very narrow slender, it will not allow anything more than that even if you set the flow rate to maybe 7 or 8. The second instrument that I'm going to show you is this. What is this instrument? This is known as a port. What is this instrument? This is also known as a port. And what is this instrument? This is also known as a port. What is the importance of these three instruments? And this is what is really very, 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 very important, very important. Now, when we talk about these instruments, the first important thing is what is a port all about? When we talk about port, it is nothing but a combination of, it's a combination of what is this? This is a trocar and this is a cannula. So trocar plus cannula, this is actually known as a port. If you see, there are a lot of types of trocars also, lot of types of the cannulas also. So if you see, this is a pyramidal, we have pointed pyramidal, cylindrical, lot of versions, lot of versions are there. This is a bladeless trocar. If you see, I will release the lock in this and try to see, try to just, just wait. I'll release the lock in this. And can you see, this is a bladeless trocar. If I poke this inside, it will go. But just see, I'm doing it for myself only. It is not going. So this is a bladeless trocar and this is a bladed trocar that we have. So what is this cannula all about? Let me tell you about the parts of this cannula. Here there is a valve. This is a valve. So I shall open it to you and I, I shall show it to you also. So let me show you about the valve. So what is the significance of this valve? Why do you have a valve? When the instrument is going inside, can you see the valve opens? If there is no valve, the air will exit out. So to prevent the loss of the pneumoperitoneum, this valve is there. There are a lot of type of actions of the valve. We have magnetic valve, we have the, the bearing, bearing, bearing valve also. So this is what is a 
trocar and a cannula together known as a port remember this is an inlet for co2 so you can allow the co2 to go in or you can just leave this closed or you can even allow the gas to vent out now one very important thing is how to hold a port port is not held like this port is not held like this port is always held in a pistol form it is always held in a pistol form it is the thinar eminence which is going to give you the strength to penetrate inside so it's the thinar eminence which will allow you to enter inside and this is what is very 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 important so it is with the corkscrew movement that you enter inside the corkscrew movement remember this entry is blind so you need to be perpendicular point number 1 and second is very slow the moment the gas actually the abdomen is entered you can see there are some holes there are some holes here so the hissing sound comes since so this trocar and the cannula system is connected by this so this is a hollow orifice and you start to get that hissing sound Hiss. so that hissing sound indicates that you are into the right cavity so this is 10 mm port this is a 5 mm port what is the difference this port is smooth this is ribbed now what is the significance of ribbed versus smooth smooth ports many a times the port starts to slide in and out and when you are inserting your instrument and taking it out it becomes very difficult but if you see a ribbed port the ribbed port is actually more anchoring so once the ripped port is there the anchorage is so strong that it is not going to slip off then the third is what is the significance of this port now this is a classical endopath axle what is this endopath axle this is a universal type of port where even 12 mm even uh, 5 mm instrument can fix inside can you see it has a wall so right from 12 mm to 5 mm 10 mm 7 mm instrument can fix inside any one can go inside not an issue just see this is a 5 mm instrument that will also go and there is no loss of pneumoperitoneum and this is a 10 mm 12 mm this can also go inside now what is the significance now we actually say that one big one big contraindication of any laparoscopic surgery when we talk about contraindication is prior abdominal surgery so when suppose you are going for a creation of pneumoperitoneum for a patient where there is bowel lot of bowel adhesions are there so imagine there are bowel adhesions and in that case if you do an entry if you do an entry with a port so what will uh, if you do an entry with a port what can happen it can damage this so this is a bladeless trocar with a hollow orifice and what can go inside your telescope zero degree telescope can go inside can you see the telescope has gone inside i will show it here so can you see if let us take this to be telescope the telescope can go inside and telescope has gone inside now we are cutting it through the layers and every layer is visible on the screen so this helps us in creation of difficult pneumoperitoneum and this was the image which was asked also recently in one of exam uh, the exam was iict and many people were not able to see so this is a bladeless trocar with an optical port this is an optical port because yes you can actually you can uh, see what is what are what is present inside and it gets locked remember this is a lock this is a lock once it gets locked it will not the camera will get fixed and it will not come out and this is what is very 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 important so the third instrument that i am going to discuss with you is this harmonic scalpel now what is this harmonic scalpel why this is known as a harmonic scalpel try to understand there are two jaws there are two jaws one is white in color one is black in color this black in color is the active piezoelectric jaw so this black color is a jaw which can vibrate front and backward front and backward and since this is a vibrating this acts like a saw and front backward forward backward movement can cut and seal the tissue this is a unique instrument which uses the ultrasonic energy and many a time students are often confused between a harmonic scalpel and a vessel sealer i am saying vessel sealer but you people frequently know a term which is known as a ligature so ligature is not the term to be used it's a vessel sealer instrument that we are going to talk about so let us talk about this instrument in depth and detail so when you talk about this harmonic scalpel how to identify this harmonic scalpel if you see one jaw is different and the another jaw is different so there are two different jaws that we have and this instrument is something like this where we have a cavity behind so i will show this instrument to you we have a cavity behind and through this cavity the ultrasonic the usg transducer is connected so when we talk about usg transducer this is the transducer which will actually give the vibrating energy to this so this is the lower jaw this is the lower jaw 
and lower jaw is always remembered to be remembered as this is an active jaw. So, active jaw it is having forward backward vibrations in the frequency multiple of 11,000. So, it can be 2, 22,000, it can be 3, 33,000, it can be 4 and 55,000. Remember at 4 and 5 the vibrations are so rapid that it can cut and at 1, 2 and 3 it can seal. So, this is very important. Now, you must be thinking what is the significance of this jaw? The upper jaw that is a Teflon jaw, that is a Teflon jaw that is an inactive jaw, that is an inactive jaw and that is actually the vibration dampener. Basically, when you are touching it against a tissue, the vibrations can knock off the nearby tissue and that is why there is Teflon jaw. Remember, if this Teflon jaw is damaged, the instrument should not be used, why it becomes very dangerous. Try to see again, white jaw, black jaw and then if you see this instrument, there is a cavity behind. So, here you are going to attach the USD transducer and then you are going to tighten up this instrument and use it. The frequently, you can say misunderstood instrument is your vessel sealer or a ligashore. I am showing you Marseille 5 which is from KLS Martin. So, what is the difference between a ligashore, Marseille 5 answer is they are working on the same concept only the brand is different. If you talk about the Ethicon, uh, it is the end seal. If you talk about the Olympus, it is a Thunderbeat. If you talk about the KLS Martin, it is a Marseille 5. So, if you see both the jaws in this case are same, both the jaws are same, both the jaws. Whereas, why this is a bipolar instrument? Whereas, if you talk about this instrument, both the jaws are different. So, both the jaws are different and same. Then, you do not have any USD transducer. You have a USD transducer cavity here, but you do not have any USD transducer cavity to be attached here. So, it is simply having one blue button which you press and it is going to seal. To cut it every time, whenever you insert, you have to take it out and cut it with the scissors. So, now the companies have provided with a manual blade when you press it. A blade comes forward and it will manually cut it but you cannot say that it can cut and seal so this is very important if you want to see it in a difference in an image I shall show you this thing also so if you see both the instruments both the jaws are same both the jaws are same for this instrument and there is no USD transducer which is attached behind so the instrument design is totally different if you see both the jaws are different here and both the jaws are same. Now, one very important thing is what is their concept? What is their concept? This works on bipolar. It is a bipolar. So, it is a bipolar instrument and this works on the concept of ultra secon technology. Now, what is this ultra secon? It is utilizing the sound energy. So, it is using the sound energy. So, something is sound energy based. So, it is a sound energy based and whereas when you talk about this technology, this is very 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 important. This is the concept based on electric current. So, it is a electric current base. The only difference between this bipolar and a uh, conventional bipolar is that conventional bipolar if you keep on heating the tissue, it will heat, heat, heat. Once a scar is formed and if you reheat a scar, there is a charcoal formation and the charcoal will get dislodged and rebleeding will occur. But this is having a tissue moisture sensor. Once the moisture is desiccated off, it will actually cut off the cycle and once it cuts off the cycle, the current will actually not flow through this. So, students, this was a brief discussion on some important instruments and I will keep this series active and you will be getting a lot of, lot of, you can say, questions from them. And this is again a very important, uh, these are the important instruments which help you gain your confidence in your vivas and during your surgical exposures. Thank you.